When I see a video that says, Dear Saluminati, Pretty Boy Frito, or Fredo, whatever the fuck, Chris Sales and McQueen, dot, 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 and it's by DDG, you're damn right I'm gonna click on that video. Y'all ready to react? Let's go. I have been reacting to a lot of long videos lately and it's only because those are the ones that are the most entertaining. So I apologize if the videos are too long for you, but I really hope you're enjoying them and watching it from the beginning to the end because I have a lot to say and I know a lot of people agree with me, okay? So this video is actually shorter. It's 13 minutes long, so we're gonna go ahead and watch it. I don't know what DGG is gonna say. Y'all ready to watch? Let's go. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video with your boy DDG. I'm gonna bring y'all down a little bit, get a little bit in close and in personal with your boy today. I don't know about his beard though. I don't know if it's if it's just growing in patches right now and it's in that weird phase, or that's just how his beard looks. I'm not. I don't know if I'm feeling it right now. I think little boy DDG is trying to be a grown ass man. <laughs> Videos go jokes, y'all. Jokes. I I ain't being serious. I don't hate on nobody. Okay. A different um, just like every other video I do how I'm feeling right now I'm feeling amazing thanks for asking I'm feeling very 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 prosperous I'm feeling healthy so? I'm feeling I, I've eaten today you know sometimes I don't eat I feel I'm very very happy I'm in a happy place right now good to um, hear life is going amazing for me my family's happy you know I wake up every morning with a smile I go to sleep early I wake up early I go to the gym it's just like everything's been going right for me it's a few things that I want to discuss to get past because 2020 it's gonna be a very, very beautiful year for me. I can feel it in my soul, in my heart. And you know, I hope, I pray to elevate even more. I pray that you have a 2020, a great 2020 as well. Lately, I've been feeling very, very matured and, and, and very, okay. very, um, I don't know, I've just been feeling, I've been feeling very unproblematic. I've been feeling like. Less mm, dramatic. I don't know if I just had a piff. Less drama, you mean? You you want to start off the new year, brand new, starting fresh. I get it. Here's something, and I'm just like, you know what? I need. I can't be acting like this no more. I'm getting older. I don't know what happened, but I just feel different now, and I feel very, very more mature. Um, I feel like that happened over these past few months or something. I don't know what happened, but I need to get on this camera, and I need to right all my wrongs, and I need to admit to everything that I was wrong about, and I need to move forward and go into 2020 with a clean slate okay um so we're gonna get right into it before we even get into it um a lot of you might know you know obviously you do know me and kennedy broke up uh and i just honest i honestly just want to write my wrongs i don't want to talk too much about it i just want to say what i was wrong about apologize for it and move forward that's the thing about breakups it's never one-sided everybody even if one person cheated and that was the cause of the breakup that does not mean that the other person did not do any wrong in that relationship, you know? By the end of the day, the cheater cheated for their own selfish reasons, but it was also steps to that point to get that person to do that. You get what I'm saying? And it's not, and I'm not putting full responsibility on the other person, I'm not saying that. When you're with someone, and especially for years, both people have done wrong, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm glad that DGG is not trying to talk shit about Kennedy and, is just, want, and just wants to talk about his wrongs. I love that about it. But Kennedy, um, the shit that was said on Twitter, that was completely wrong on my part. I shouldn't even been on there sub-tweeting. I shouldn't have been on there talking shit. I should have just kept it to myself. I should have just kept it pushing. I apologize for anything that hurt you in any type of way. I apologize for anything. You know what I'm saying? The, the pictures, the, the fans harassing you about fucking bullshit all every, every day, every fucking second of the day. Um, I don't even know what happens with their breakup. Does anyone know? Please comment below and, and fill me in because I don't know what happened this time around. Sorry, you know, I'm sorry that you even got to deal with that shit. You know, it's not, I try my best to, to try to steer away from it, but you know, sometimes I'm not perfect. You know, I can't really, I can't make everything perfect, but you know, for the things that I did wrong to you and the things that I did wrong behind closed doors mm -hmm. or the things that fans see or the things that's on the, that was said on the internet or tweets, everything, like any sub tweets, any little slick shit I said, I apologize. I honestly do. These past few years have been a blessing. 
you know, and I thank you for letting me be a part of your story and, and a part of your chapter of your life. Um, and I thank you for being a part of mine. I really, 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 really enjoyed it. I like that. Um, through That's the ups up. and downs, you are a beautiful person inside and out. And I wish you nothing but the best. But I don't want to. I don't want to speak too much on me and Kennedy because, uh, you know, that's like this. But before he moves on to the next thing, I do want to say people are in our lives for a reason. It could be negative. It can be positive. Regardless, even if it's negative, you're gonna always take something positive from it. Always be thankful and show some form of gratitude to the person that was with you during a moment or in a ch or during a chapter in your life, because they were meant to be there at that time for whatever whatever you were going through at the moment whatever struggle you were going through whatever success you were going through um anything if if a person was there during that time to help you through it they were meant to be there a little part of the video i'd rather talk to you in person or over the phone or some shit like that to show you how genuine this is i don't want you to think there's some internet shit but the only reason i'm even discussing it because i can't communicate with you so uh, you got my number text me if you feel like talking i know know that you got it so she blocked his ass <laughs> i want to know what happened oh my god somebody please comment below you know you you trying to heal or you trying to move on and shit like that so take your time it could be two months from now three months from now six months from now a week from now whatever how long it take you uh, I just feel like we shouldn't hate each other. We shouldn't beef. We shouldn't. We shouldn't be like that. You know, we two blessed people. We're very, 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 very blessed, and we shouldn't be. We should have no hate towards each other. Point blank. Period. Whether we move on, find new people, and get married, have kids with somebody else, I feel like we've been more of a blessing to each other rather than, um, you know, a negative. I just feel like you know we shouldn't, we shouldn't be like that. But you know, you got my number. You're not blocked, so. <laughs> you want to do moving on to the next person uh okay. solo Minotti. okay by the way on that last video that he made with ash saluminati never responded i am surprised maybe because um spiritual soul is telling him not to i get it i completely get it and he's be he's becoming a grown-ass man he's trying to grow out of that immatureness i get it but it sucks for us people like us trying to react to shit um, but, uh, yeah, he never responded. So let's see what DDG's got to say about him. Honestly, though, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened in, in, in the, uh, the, um, communication error or what happened. I don't know if it was like a, uh, internet thing, a clout chase thing, <laughs> but I really don't have a problem with you. Not even a little bit. Like, I can see you walk across the street right now. I ain't gonna run up on you, nigga. When I hit you up to fucking hoop. I was literally trying to hoop. I don't give a fuck what you said about Diamond. Diamond is a grown ass woman. I'm not a problematic person. I don't go up to niggas trying to scrap. I'm the type of nigga. Boy, you better stop playing. Don't lie. It's one thing to. Man, come on now. I understand that you're trying to grow up and you're trying to like grow from this shit. At the same time, don't pretend like you were, no, you were in no part of that drama, yo. You wanted to fight his ass. You made it clear. You did make it clear. But if you if you don't want that no more, then then that's fine too. Say it. Like you know what? I'm not I'm not into that no more. Like I really don't have no more beef with you. I don't want to fight you no more. Let's just be cool. You know. Let's just move on. You gotta hit first. You hit me first, then I'm whoop your ass. But like, I'm never a problematic person. And I honestly been thinking to myself because you know I fuck with you and I fuck with your movement and you know. But if anybody comes at me in a negative way, obviously I'm gonna respond in the same manner. But I found out you from Michigan too, you from Detroit, Michigan. And you know what I'm saying? You made it out too. And I feel like black creators on this platform, or black entertainers, not even on this platform, but any platform, like we beef over and over and over again. For what reason? We all get money. True. We all elevating. We all True. made it out the hood. We all made it to the next level. We Preach all it. Prosper, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I feel like I'm actually gonna react to James Charles and his video with I guess carpool karaoke with a whole bunch of youtubers and of course most of the youtubers in that car are white Creators and they their movement is so much bigger than the black community and especially from the Hispanic community because we rarely exist in the fucking YouTube world the white creators that they get special treatment, okay? And let's not pretend like, like they don't. They do. They're always on the trending page as if other creators are not doing as great. And you know damn well that the numbers that black creators are, are doing are just as much. 
but for some reason they're not hitting the trending pages. I don't understand why. But anyways, they're getting special treatment and even with award shows and YouTube events, they just get so much attention and I wish it was different. I see that in the James Charles video, just the thumbnail alone, they all get along with each other, y'all. Every now and then there'll be some drama, but not so much. Not like the black community, y'all. Like they're always beefing with each other and maybe that's their way of trying to grow. But, but trying to knock someone else down to help you grow, that sucks, man. Don't be doing that type of shit. You're knocking down your community, y'all, and you're not helping each other out. You're remaining at this level when really y'all should be up here. And y'all can get here if y'all work together, you know what I'm saying? Stop the bullshit. Then the brown community, we don't even fucking exist on YouTube. I don't know where the fuck we're at. At least they have YouTube black. At least YouTube so, like acknowledges that. Like, what the fuck do we got? Do we have a YouTube brown? No, we don't. From the jump, even when we started this little internet beef or some shit like that, I was like, bro, this shit is pointless. At that point, like, even after <coughs> I turned off the camera after talking shit all last year, even when I turned off the camera, nigga, I didn't give a fuck. I didn't care, not even a little bit. I didn't even read my comments. I was posting them strictly for views, and I honestly, I would admit that I did a lot of internet shit that was strictly for the internet, and it really, it really wasn't how I felt. And um, I just want you to know, bro, I fuck with you. I fuck with your movement. I have no issue with you at all. Your fan base is amazing. It's, it's, it's really, really dope how you're able to create this fan base. I fuck with your spiritual shit, bro. Like, I have no problem with you at all. I support all my black creators. That's but that. I'm just now voicing it. You know what I mean? I, didn't, I never voiced it just because that's how we are. We don't, we don't tell that we support each other. You know what I'm saying? But in reality, like... It's because everyone looks at each other like competition. Y'all need to stop doing that. I fuck with everybody on this platform. I have no beef with nobody. I want to right my wrongs for what I did. I shouldn't have been making the videos back and forth and all this other shit. Now, I do have to clear this up, though. Recently, uh -oh. I did do a video with your ex-girlfriend. Uh -oh. I know that might have looked wrong. It really might have looked wrong, but it was really on some content shit. It was just like she hit me up collab, and I was like, okay, cool. And I came up with that video idea, and I did it. And it came out how I did. So, I know a lot of fans was booty tickled about that. Or talking all this type of shit, but in reality, it wasn't even that deep, bro. Like, I don't want your girl, I don't want your ex. Don't Obviously, you don't. That's too messy for me. We know that. We know you don't want Ash. We know that. We understand that it was content and that people will click onto it. We get it. We still wanted something from Saluminati, but that motherfucker didn't say nothing. Ash, she a cool girl. I talked to her and shit like that with all this other shit, but like, you know, at the end of the day, bro, niggas have made it out the hood. There's no point of beefing. You squashed on my side. I don't know what you want to do. It's whatever, nigga. You still want to fight? We can fight. I don't know if you ever said you wanted to fight, but anything, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> yes. I have no me. issue with you. It's all squashed on my side, nigga. We can shake hands, whatever the fuck you want to do. I just want to right my wrongs, and I just want to tell y'all how I'm feeling right now, man. 2020 is a prosperous year. All right. We ain't be beefing no more with our black folks, man. Black people are striving right now. We're striving. Let's keep it pushing. Next person. Uh, Next person. Pretty boy Fredo. Now this was a little. This was a little. Uh, this was a little different. I'm not gonna cap. Not gonna lie. Okay, I know nothing about this situation. So let's hear. Uh, I don't know what happened. We was playing basketball, and then I guess I'm thinking that you got hot about the basketball game. Now, one thing that I was wrong about was recording after the fact and posting a video out of the side of my car when I went to my car, you know what I mean? It should have just been ended at that. It should have just been an argument, blah, blah, blah. But it, you know, as a, as a man, as a grown ass man, you know that you were wrong in some ways, but I'm not gonna force that upon you for you to try to write that or anything. But I want you to know I have no problem with you. I support you 100%. I love what you did the other day with your, um, you went to the hospital and you cut your hair off. That was a beautiful thing. I watched the video, you know what I'm saying? Like I support you. And you know, people, like, lately I've just been on that. Have y'all been listening to what he's saying? These people that he's had beef with and drama with, it's amazing to see that he really supports these people. A tip, man, I, I really, I have no problem with nobody. I never did, even after the day that you, you know what I'm saying? It was some weird shit going on that day, but I'd have got over it probably two hours after it happened. I promise you I did, but I just want you to know, bro, like, keep pushing, keep going. You're an amazing creator. You're doing great. You have a very, very bright career ahead of you. I'm excited to see what you do in these next coming years of 2020 alone. And uh, I'm watching, bro. You know, I support you. As for um, next person, McQueen, 
I actually, fun fact, I actually... Okay, I know he was close with McQueen and Flight Reacts, so I don't know what happened here. I don't know, but I'm liking this DDG. He's, 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 he's growing up a little bit. To McQueen today, um, he was, I went to the gym or whatever, I was hooping over there, I was balling too, they score about 12 points a game, okay, I'm the best basketball player that ever walked the earth, but I ran into McQueen today, and he came up to me, and we chopped it up, we was talking for like a solid hour, and we really squashed everything, so it's not too much I need to say on here, but me and McQueen is cool, we had a little okay. fallout earlier this year, and um, no, it was actually last year it's been a whole year man so oh really y'all know me and mcqueen used to hang out every fucking day so wow it was you know it was cool talking to him and uh getting every do you know about that drama i would like to know about what happened between him and mcqueen oh hold oh hell no my dog is trying to get my attention hold on give me a second while i go get his toy this toy right here this toy right here is what my parents got gizmo for christmas you hear that sound it's loud as fuck and it's annoying, okay? All right, let's get back to this video. We squashed and we got everything transparent and um, everything is like, you know, everything is cool. Everything is good. I don't know if we're gonna film videos together or nothing like that, but like, it's just like, you know, we squashed everything, cleared everything up. So that is cool. I talked to him today. Um, CJ's so cool. Me and him already chopped it up. Damn, you see his watch? Hold on, let me rewind that real quick. Up. So that is cool. I talked to him today. Um, see, look at his watch. Damn. And I'm not even a jewelry person, but that shit looks nice. I'd fucking rock that shit. That's gotta cost like 150, maybe 200 thousand. I don't know. Looks fucking expensive. That's a house he's wearing. So cool. Me and him already chopped it up. We follow each other. You know what I'm saying? You're killing it, bro. Doing your thing. All that was a misunderstanding, a mis misconstrued it, and um. That's all out the way. I think that's that don't even need to be spoken about. Uh, Chris Sales. Oh. That was a long going beef. Okay, Chris Sales had beef with everybody. Chris Sales is a low life. I'm sorry, but he is. I don't I love his music. But him as a person, he's like a he's such a sad person. I'm not talking about him being sad, like boohoo sad. He's just a sorry ass person, you know what I mean? He just, he tries to succeed off of other people's success. You get what I'm saying? And I, I don't like that. Like, why do that? Learn about yourself and what you have to offer. And then grow off of that. You know what I mean? Stop all this beef with everybody, Chris. Bro, I didn't even know they had beef. But go ahead, let's speak. Bro, I honestly, bro, I don't have a problem with you. I honestly don't. I really don't. Uh, a few things were said. It was like... I feel like it was a lot of childish shit that was said. You know, I think it's all started over you raping Kennedy or some bullshit like that. Lame ass shit, man, that don't need to even be taken to a beef. I hope you're doing good, bro. I have no issue with you. Everything is squashed on my side. I just want you to know that I don't have no problem with you. I can see you right now. I can shake your hand right now. I have no issue with you. I can't speak too much because I don't know you like that, but I fuck with how, how, how much involved you are with your son and shit like that. That's really, really dope. I cannot ever, ever, ever take that away from you, bro. And um, just feel like, you know, it, the beefs that we had or the, the situations or issues that we had was absolutely pointless. It was absolutely uncalled for. It shouldn't have been an issue at all, but I got respect for you. I have no issue with you and um, everything is squashed this way. But it's a, it's a few other beefs that happened that really wasn't that serious, like, you know. I think what DDG is trying to do is reach out to all these YouTubers and I think he wants to work with them. I think he finally understands that all these powerful YouTubers in the black community who are the top dogs, they can all come together and make some powerful shit. And I think he's starting to realize that. And he's, he's probably the right one to get everyone together. I ain't gonna lie to you. That yeah, shit like rice gum. I already chopped it up with rice gum. Well, we didn't really talk, but you know, we hope with each other and shit. But let me stop that real quick and I am going to read a subscriber's comment. I'm about reading all types of comments, even the negative ones. So this one is by Mostafa Krayem. He commented on one of my Sam and Kobe videos. He says, good clickbait. They didn't say a woman is the devil, but the woman who is hunting the castle. So how did you assume shit like that? Dot, dot, dot. I've since, I've since, I think he meant I've seen 
a couple of your videos and you're just clearly hating no disrespect but if you ain't a believer i get it but be a fair person at least i don't think you really watched my videos if you did then you would know that i actually believe them and actually believe their experience there are some things that they do traumatize and if you choose to believe that it's not for content or for the sake of getting more followers then that's the opinion that you can have but as for me i think there's some things that are dramatized and that's okay for me to think now as believer yes i believe in this in the spiritual world i believe on in witchcraft i believe in the devil i believe in god i believe in angels i believe in all of that if I didn't, I wouldn't be wasting my time watching those videos. I'm a supporter of Sam and Kobe. Just to make it clear, but thank you so much for commenting. I still appreciate your support in that way. I, I have nothing wrong to say about you or your comments. I'm just trying to make it clear to you. All right, let's get back to the video. It wasn't no, no animosity in here. I fuck with you, Heavy. Um, shit. It really ain't nobody that I'm, you know, you can say Yachty, but nah, that was no real beef at all. I ain't even told that nigga that was real. Um, that's it. That's honestly it, man. All the other shit really don't need to be spoken about. I just wanted to say my piece, man. I fuck with everybody. That's what y'all don't get. Like, I honestly, I fuck with everybody, and I really don't be trying to beef with nobody. A lot of the times when I'm in a situation with somebody, it's like they throw a little jab at me, and it kind of piss me off. But, you know, me being supposed to be the... the bigger person, I shouldn't even entertain it or I should just defuse the situation. There's a lot of situations that happened these past few years that I could have defused and just completely, you know, just move forward. So just working on maturing y'all. So everybody that I spoke about in this video, all oh, this is genuine. I mean it. Um, I believe him too. Hit me up, DM, whatever the fuck y'all want to do, man. I but, believe him. Or you can just say, fuck that nigga. You know, either or. But I, as long as I write my wrongs, that's all I feel good about. That's right. I had to get that off my chest before the year over with, man. And I pray for many blessings each and every one of y'all way. And um, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy and happy new year, DDG. I like that video. Good for you, man. You're growing up, you're maturing, you realize that you and other black creators can create a bigger movement together than by yourselves and I can always respect that. All right, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video, peace.